What's up guys, Psycholavos here. Welcome to the restoration video. A few weeks ago, as a perfect impulse buy, I bought a Pokemon Game Boy Color on eBay for 60 bucks, And it was listed for parts repair. So 60 bucks with free shipping, including tax, about 65 bucks overall. It's pretty good, pretty good deal. So one thing I didn't realize was the sound was kind of not there, at least with the speaker. So, it has some scratches on the lens here. You might not be able to tell, but the buttons are a bit dirty and whatnot. The back stickers are fucked, especially the serial number sticker. As well as this one here, but the sticker is our main concern. And it's also missing the battery cover. The battery terminals are kind of iffy, if you will. And you might not be able to see it, but right here is missing a tri ring screw. Unfortunately, I do not have an extra on hand. I thought I did, but I do not. So I think I could, you know, do without it. It does power on, does play games. You just can't hear any sound from the speaker. Now, the headphone jack works fine. Now, I think the speaker might be cleaned. If not, I will see about getting a replacement speaker from Handheld Legend. I got a set of replacement stickers. Unfortunately, the serial number sticker is not the same as that one. It's more reminiscent of a Japanese serial sticker. I also bought the battery cover, which I don't really need this Nintendo repair, you know, the repair center hotline number, since it already has one. So uh, let's go ahead and begin the video. I'm just going to take it apart. So I start off by taking apart the Game Boy. And first thing I noticed when taking off the back shell is that it looks completely dirty. You can see some rust on the RF shielding screws. And it kind of looks like this thing was like in a barn or some shit like that. As it looks like a kind of grass type thing, I don't know what you call it, but it was dirty in the inside. Thankfully, I was able to get most of it out, unfortunately not all of it. And like you see right here, there's some on the sticker for the potentiometer for the screen. So I set the blue shell aside and then I took apart the console some more. I took the remaining screws and I took out the screen. And with the screen, there's a slightly blemish. I don't know how it happened, but there seems to be some kind of corrosion on the ribbon cable pins. I found the missing tri-ring screw, and it was on the speaker. So this tells me, okay, this has been taken apart before. So I figured that was the culprit behind it not working. Unfortunately, I was dead wrong. And taking a look at the motherboard, you can, tell, you can definitely tell there's some dirty spots. And there's definitely some kind of orange brownish material on the motherboard. I thought it was rust. It might be rust, might not, but I went ahead and took some IPA and cleaned it. Now here you start to see me clean it. I went ahead and started off with the rust spot, or what looked like rust, and it was like a big L of sorts. And of course I ended up cleaning up the serial number on the motherboard, but oh well. And you can kind of see here, there's a bit of the, uh, there's like a white color to the pens here. And it kind of like it was corroded a bit, but thankfully it was not corroded. So I ended up cleaning up the buttons and the membranes and whatnot. Took some more IPA and cleaned up the switches, the knobs and whatnot, even the ports as well. So now here I started to clean the speaker, and this little plastic bit right here comes off. Unfortunately, I was not able to keep the little plastic bit of the speaker itself, so I had to discard it. And of course, the speaker did not work. As you see here, I'm cleaning out the cartridge pens, and you can also see that I'm trying to get this little plastic bit of the speaker to stay back on. Unfortunately, no matter what I do, it won't stay on. So I kind of screwed the pooch on that one. I then tried to start cleaning the pens on the ribbon cable with the screen. Unfortunately, I was not able to get anything off. However, thankfully, the screen does work as intended, so I don't have to worry about it. Although, I would have to keep it, keep an eye on it, see if anything changes with the screen or not. And of course, there's some rust on the sides of the screen, including the foam on the back. I was able to get that off, thankfully, except for the part on the foam. Right here, you see me set the arm shielding and the screws of some vinegar. Now, I let that sit in vinegar while I slept for six hours. Right here, you, you can tell I damaged the battery terminal. Unfortunately, I was not able to remove it successfully in prep for cleaning. Now, I did clean the shell off camera, and I was able to get most of that grime off the back, although the potentiometer sticker had to go. 
and you can see right here I'm removing the original stickers and putting some IPA on the original stickers and trying to remove them and place the new stickers. So serial number sticker did not come off easily, I had to scratch that off, but the Nintendo sticker was able to come off easily. One week goes by and I was able to get my order from Handheld Legend. This included a new battery terminal and a new speaker. So I went ahead and desoldered the original speaker and installed the new speaker in its place. I did have to add a bit of solder to the speaker. However, I was able to use the original wires thankfully, so I had to cut any of my own wires. It was kind of hard to hold it steady to put the wires in place, but I eventually got it. So all in all, I feel this is complete now. Of course, I chose not to replace the lens as I feel, yes, it's scratched up, but I think it's perfectly fine. Well, although it could be replaced in the future, maybe like two years down the road, if I decide to keep it. Um, I could probably down the road install the front light mod or backlight mod, I should say. Although I don't feel skilled like that yet. Battery terminal was my fault 100%. And then, you know, didn't realize the speaker needed to be replaced until I actually, you know, turned it on for the first time. But I think this went well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.